Hello everyone, I'm Eddie Emmons and this is my co-host Anthony St. John and welcome back to another mini-sode of Dispatch Fear called Whitewashed. Anthony, give our fans a brief description of what transpires in tonight's mini-sode. First, it's great to be back here with you, Eddie. Al provided us tonight with a very interesting dispatch. This dispatch takes place 30 minutes east of Evan City, Pennsylvania at Sutcliffe Quarry. On May 10, 1994, a massive military presence was ordered to Sutcliffe Quarry to stop the spread of a contagion that was released from some sort of mysterious capsules which were unearthed. I cannot wait for this dispatch. I think this one's going to be truly amazing. Let's go ahead and play this one for our fans. Absolutely. Dispatch, all county and state units be advised. Incoming communication. Hold all traffic. We have a pending Delta-1 communication. Repeat Delta-1 communication. All responding personnel use secured communication lines. Dispatch, all state, county, and local units hold line. We are receiving information from Chatsworth Military Base. Military personnel, including a decontamination group, is present at Sutcliffe Quarry, located 30 miles east of Evans City. Reports of a massive military presence. We are receiving specific instructions from Colonel Stoker from Chatsworth Military Base. Dispatch, all state, county, and local units are being advised to assist with quarantine efforts to ensure no one enters the restricted area. This is a Delta Zero incident. Repeat, Delta Zero incident. The governor is being briefed on the situation now. Sergeant 633 Dispatch, be advised that myself and other units are on scene. My primary contact is COM 56. 322 to Dispatch, this is Lanchester County Sheriff. About a quarter mile from Sutcliffe Quarry, there's a massive military presence. My primary contact is COM 18. Sergeant 633, COM 18, be advised we are the whole perimeter and ensure no traffic reaches area. Further advice. Dispatch, communication received that some type of capsule was found at the quarry. Just notified the capsule has been breached. All Lancaster County Fire and Medical, please respond to Sutcliffe Quarry, 30 miles east of Evans City. Sergeant 633 reports there is multiple capsules located in the quarry. Com 18 set up three mile perimeter around the quarry. No one gets out, no one gets in. 322 Com 56, what's the status of quarry workers? Families are going to start showing up wanting answers. Sergeant 633, COM 18, quarry workers are being accounted for as we speak. We'll advise when updated. Dispatch, COMs 56 and 18, standby. Receiving contact from a general at Chatsworth Military Base. 322, what's going on with all these black helicopters? They're flying low over the quarry. Sergeant 633, I'm hearing what sounds like gunshots. Any updates? Dispatch, all units, all units, general advises to hold perimeter of the quarry. Do not enter. Repeat, do not enter the quarry. Area is unsafe. Repeat, the area is unsafe. 322, I'm heading towards the entrance of the quarry. Sergeant 633, COM 18, hold the perimeter. We must remain back. This is a possible release of a chemical or biological agent. Dispatch, all units. Do not approach the area. Military confirm this is a Delta Zero event. Repeat, Delta Zero event. Sergeant 633, I'm located near the entrance and there is a huge military presence. Dozens of trucks and military personnel present. Large plumes of red smoke coming out of the quarry. Sporadic gunshots. Sergeant 633, military personnel are placing a silver tough wall around the entrance of the quarry. What the hell is going on? 322 COM 56. Get the hell out of there. Pull back. Pull back. All units on this channel, clear the lines. Repeat, clear the lines. Receiving info that the area is considered a disaster zone. Multiple fatalities. All units on this line, hold. Re advise military is regrouping around the entrance. 
Some sort of contagion has been released. The contagion is melting and burning skin like acid. Dozen of, dozens of people are being reported as injured. Sergeant 633, medics and fire just under quarry, escorted by military to help with injuries. Dispatch, hold perimeter. Repeat, hold perimeter. There is some type of altercation between quarry workers and military, military personnel. I cannot keep up with the military communications. Traffic is all over. Being discussed of completely shutting this down. Two, what do you mean shutting down? Are they going to bomb the area to stop the contamination from spreading? Man, Anthony, this is making my blood pump. Let's recap the first part of this dispatch for our fans. We have some sort of capsule that breaks open in a quarry, and then the military shows up with this massive response to stop the spread of some contagion. Sounds like it's about to get real. Damn, I couldn't imagine being anywhere near that kind of scene, Eddie. That is absolute chaos, especially not knowing what kind of stuff you're even dealing with. For the military to have a response that big, you know it's some serious shit, and you do not want to be messing with that. I can't imagine how this ends for those that are involved, but let's go ahead and listen to the next excerpt. This one's an absolute thriller. on the run, waiting for a description of vehicles and gotaways. Sergeant 633, several people are several people are gathered across the dirt road from me. Injuries look severe. Skin looks like it's melting, like an acid burn. They're in severe pain. Fuck! Dispatch, Omega Alpha Zero. Omega Alpha Zero. Possible cataclysmic event is taking place at the quarry location. Evacuate all areas within 15 miles of the quarry. Comms 56 and 18, withdraw your teams and get out now. Get out right now. 322, advise all units. Traffic coming heavy towards Hampson Road. Sergeant 633, all units advise. Red plume of smoke is above quarry. Noticing explosions of some type taking place. Looks like a massive fire. I am a quarter mile back towards Hampson Road. Dispatch, reports of cataclysmic event at quarry. Dozens are killed and injured. A special response from the military is underway, awaiting details. Sergeant 633, we have a big blue GMC pickup truck traveling at a high rate of speed from the quarry, heading towards Hanson Road. Damage to front of truck, almost like it's melting and warping. They may be contaminated. 322, COM 56, advise, I see trucks speeding toward me on Hanson. Dispatch all units be advised that a group of four quarry workers have left the quarry in a blue GMC Sierra pickup truck. Military officials advise that they are possibly contaminated with the contagion. Do not let them near populated centers. Repeat, do not let them near populated areas. Use lethal force if necessary. 322, truck is coming to a stop. Too much damage. All four occupants are still inside the truck. I'm located about a mile marker 3 on Hanson Road. COM 56 needed. Back up. Sergeant 633, COM 18. Just reached Hanson Road. ETA 1 minute. Hold at gunpoint. Cannot let them get away. All units proceed to mile marker 3 on Hanson Road. All protocols remain. Sergeant 633, COM 18. Pulling up. 322, occupants are exiting truck. They're melting. Legs and arms are starting to liquefy. One's trying to start to run away. Stop! Stop! Sergeant 633, shot fired, shot fired. I had to neutralize. I had to neutralize. Got medics. 322, need medics ASAP. Repeat, need medics ASAP. S63 is down. Had contact with contagion. S633, hurry up. Hurry up. It burns. It burns. My arm is starting to melt. Need medic now. Need medic now. Dispatch, medics en route. Repeat, medics are en route. ETA, one minute. Military decontamination specialists en route to secure Sutcliffe Quarry. Law enforcement units are to establish perimeter of 15 miles from Sutcliffe Quarry. No one enters and no one leaves. Stop the madness, Anthony. This dispatch is a true nightmare. Hopefully Alton was able to gather some information from his own investigation. Don't you have the case notes that Alton provided us? Yes, I do, Eddie. Fortunately, Alton was able to provide us what happened after the dispatch of tapes had ended. 
Let's go ahead and find out. State Police Sergeant Mark Savini, S633, survived being exposed to this contagion. Paramedics were right on scene and had to amputate Mr. Savini's arm halfway between his elbow and shoulder socket. Mr. Savini medically retired after this incident and resides in southern Utah with his wife and his two kids. Lanchester County Sheriff Craig Slauson, 322, was uninjured from this incident. Mr. Slauson was awarded the Medal of Valor for his actions that fateful day. Mr. Slauson was credited with saving the life of State Police Sergeant Mark Savini. Mr. Slauson retired after this incident. He currently resides in upstate Vermont with his three dogs. There were 36 deaths and over 100 injuries from this incident at South Cliff Clory. The military suffered a majority of this due to exposure from the contagion. The military made the decision to whitewash the quarry to eradicate any exposure from this contagion. There was a 15-mile perimeter that remained on lockdown for 14 days after this incident. The contagion didn't spread into the community surrounding Suckliff Quarry. To this day, the specifics of this contagion are highly classified. From my connections, it is said that only a few people know exactly what it was, and they are not at liberty to discuss. These types of events do happen. Unfortunately, when digging up earth, you never know who or what or someone decided to bury something in a random spot. It's truly scary when you really think about it. You just don't know what's out there. Wow, Anthony. I'm just glad the military is able to stop the spread of this contagion. Imagine if this contagion reached a heavy populated area, massive amounts of people with their skin melting off and dying a slow death. I don't want no part of that. Me and Anthony would like to thank everyone for watching tonight's mini-sode of Dispatch Fear called Whitewashed. Sayonara, folks. And remember, if you ever hear the term whitewashed, you know what's coming. This is Wild Future Productions, where your fear begins. I would like to thank my production team here at Wild Future Productions, myself, Eddie Emmons, Anthony St. John, Leo Anthony, Marie Perry, to Neil Meadowlark and Anthony White. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication for making this project possible. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of the video.